Hello everyone and welcome back to Command and Conquer Red Alert and welcome to the pre-ultimate Soviet mission. And we've conquered almost the entirety of Europe. The only thing we haven't conquered yet is Iceland, which is neutral. A bit of Ireland, the United Kingdom. And bits of Scandinavia. Actually Finland is occupying parts of Russia here. As well as uh, small bits of Spain and Portugal. So, and here comes... Yeah, as I said, the pre-ultimate mission, or rather the two pre-ultimate missions we can choose from. And I think I'm going to go with Portugal first. I cannot believe they would risk keeping Einstein in such a poorly defended area. Believe it or not, they did. And now we have him. The transmitter is undetectable and has a range of 500 miles. What makes you think the Allies will try to rescue him? Certainly they think he died in the attack on the base. That would have been true, had I not leaked information about Einstein's capture and scheduled execution. The Allies will come for their prize. And we will be able to track him through his watch. Yes, comrade. And he will lead us right to the chronosphere. Einstein is gone, comrade. Allied coordinates coming in now. With the chronosphere and the iron curtain, soon we will stand invincible. Prepare a strike team. Be careful. The Allied radar automatically sends a destruct code to the chronosphere if an intruder is detected. If you are detected before the radar is captured, we could lose the chronosphere. Losing the chronosphere is not an option. All right, here, here we go. Here's our assault force. So let's get our base up and running ASAP. And here is... Oop, artillery. Artillery is priority. So lost a, one of my tanks. But that's acceptable. I have quite a good starting budget. And I still have the two V launchers. So let's explore a little bit. Actually, I want you to go south here. Yeah. yeah, for some reason this map's all snowy, even though it's in Portugal. Yeah, this map contains more snow than Portugal had in the past uh, 50 years or so. And yeah, so there's more than one allied base here, and the chronosphere is basically in one corner of the map, so don't expect to reach it easily, well, obviously. So, let's get an advanced power plant and build more tanks. Yeah, we need more tanks ASAP flamethrowers, just in case they send infantry, which is probably going to happen. Can they actually... Oh yeah, so they can get through here. So they're also going to send chopper sooner or later. So let's get more power. Actually, let's get yeah, let's get more power and then get get another refinery. Oh yeah, so they're sending sending dudes here. Yeah, they even have a medic, and for some reason medics in front line, because that makes sense. So you please die. Yeah, these guys, they're all rocket guys, so if you send your harvesters on, on those fields and those rocket guys just wait there, there's actually a non-zero chance that they all get wiped out. I mean, your harvesters, not the rocket guys, because, whoa, 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 yeah. Man, look at, look at that. Oop, yeah, and there goes my harvester. Yeah, they're sending, they're sending a lot of stuff after you. 
Yeah, that was actually a pretty strong assault for us. That was like three medium tanks and three artillery. That's considerable. Those guys just rush into your base. So, let's get a service depot. I need to keep my tanks in shape. And maybe you harvest here first because they're crystals here. You guys stay close to my base. Because these guys are pretty good anti-infantry defense because if they hit a group of, of infantry, um, they'll pretty much all die in one shot. So for now let's just repair. And I definitely need more harvesters. So here we go. Let's repair my guys. Now there's a, a bug on this on this map. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I'm running a yes, not the original red alert, but Part for whoop. light tanks. Where are you, what, what are you doing? Yeah, that was weird. I think these guys want to go for my harvesters, but then didn't. So you guys stay here. Um, yeah, what I want to say is that if you capture the crown sphere on this map, and then you might actually lose the mission. I'm not really sure what caused that bug. I don't recall it being there all the time. But you can circumvent that by destroying all the allied forces because Chronosphere is 10, so it's from a gameplay gameplay point of view, the Chronosphere is a different faction. Oh. Guys incoming. Oh, a lone uh, gap generator. Where's the rest of your escort? Oh, there comes the artillery. There we go. So let's actually get the Tesla coil here. Good thing about Tesla coils is that oh, they do outrange artillery. That's a very useful. Why? How, how about. What's up with you? Why don't you attack that artillery? Anyway. So. Why did I. Oh, I did. Did I interrupt that? I guess I did. Anyway. Yeah, let's get more Tesla coils. So, here let's build one here to seal off this area. So all my tanks are prepared again except for this mammoth tank. So let's actually get a power plant built here. Build another Tesla coil here. Yep, there goes my V-launcher, that's okay. So and you still haven't repaired yourself, so please do it now. And more heavy tanks. So they are going to send choppers after your base sooner or later. So keep that in mind. And they're off-map choppers and they're coming group of I think four or five. So you need a lot of firepower to bring them down. So, yeah, the Tesla car is already worth it. Let's just stay here. Alright, radar. Let's get a, an airfield. Whoa, that guy was brave. Just attacking... Attacking a Tesla car like that, so... Let's get one or two SAM sites. Yeah, I think I want more Tesla coils here. Man, they, they send a lot of stuff. So, same side here. One more Tesla coil. Whoa. Yeah, artillery is not enough to take out Tesla calls. So let's hope I still have enough power after. Yeah, I do. So yeah, they they sent a lot of stuff after you. So why aren't you? Why weren't you fighting back? Anyway, so more power plants and yeah, I think I need another Tesla call here. Yeah, you, you attack that Tesla call. Go, go ahead. 
I dare you. So it's just oh, that's, that's ah, get out of here. What are what are you attacking? I don't know. Anyway, yep, that was too much firepower. So you continue housing. We kill these guys. I'm not really sure why the bot. Oh, I lost both my Tesla cards here. So you repair yourself. Um, let, let's just land a bunch of paratroopers here. So, yeah, that should do it for now. You guys just then stay here. Uh, more power, I guess, and let's build one more Tesla core. So, are these still intact? My harvesters are in, yeah, they're in okay shape. So here is one of the allied bases. And this map is again designed in a way that it's really, really annoying to, to navigate on it. So yeah, there should be enough firepower to hold them off for a while. Here we go. Let's place one flame tower here as support. And let's build another ore refinery. And I will need more anti-air here. Thankfully they don't go with choppers after you straight away. So it's really not too bad. So you guys can stay here. So let's just spy it's over here. Mm, actually, no, the coast is here. That's good. So it means uh, once I've harvested all the ore here, this area should be safe-ish. So, a lot of boats here. Yeah, that, that's not going to go anywhere, but might as well use it. So... Increase my harvesting operations, and you guys explore what's down here. Might as well land some infantry here just as support. So, more spying. So, let's just go to briefing. So I have to take out the radar domes. That's what I thought, so not just... Oh, not just take them over, which is more convenient. Obviously. So, wow, this... Okay, I need... I want more power. And you guys return home. No, I don't want to seal this off. So let's build a power plant here. Let's build another Tesla call here, just in case. You, you want to attack also? No? Okay, that's fine. So, just spy here. Now they're attacking this position all the time, so that's annoying. But not a problem. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there are a lot of a lot of ships here, and you can build submarines. But uh, part of these waters are actually sealed off, so you can't just. Uh, send your submarines everywhere. So I think I'm just going for with heavy tanks for now. And they do have cruisers. And the annoying part is that these cruisers are pretty difficult to access. So. Yep, and there goes my, my ship. Anyway, let's get a second arms factory just in case. You guys stay here. Let's buy some more. There's also a bridge here which leads to their base. Which is annoying in the sense that it's difficult to oh, take a look at that. So 
we please stop that, so... And you need repairs. So, second war factory. You guys stay here and you can continue to deliver your arm. Yeah, there come the choppers. Yeah, that's it's almost impossible to avoid losing Tesla quality unless you have a lot of anti-air, so I will probably need to get a lot of anti-air here. So Okay, you want to attack or anything? Nope. Okay. So, you guys stay here. And let's rebuild that Tesla coil. So, I can spy some more. So, let's see what's. Let's actually see whether I can cross here. Construction complete. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. So, whoa, why are you harvesting there? Don't harvest there. That's, that's too risky. So, oh, didn't even see those guys coming. So here we go. Let's move out. Yeah, this bridge. If you if you try to cross that bridge and you don't secure it beforehand, that's just going to get destroyed by we are choppers. Okay, return to base. These choppers are annoying too. They're kind of like the Command Conquer One choppers, where GDI would always send choppers after you when you came close to the base, and they would hunt you down relentlessly until you actually. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. So. Choppers are gone. They would hunt you down relentlessly until you actually destroyed them, or they destroyed you. So more heavy tanks. I think there's a bridge here. Uh, I'm not really sure whether it's a good idea to cross that. Might be mined. So we'll see. For now, let's just build stuff. And it seems the allies are running a little bit low on stuff, so maybe they are actually... Okay, so I can't cross here. Where did... Oh. How... How about you fight back? Ah, come on, guys. Anyway. More heavy tanks. And maybe I should actually get a couple of V-launchers. Yeah, we'll see. So you can you can attack this harvester here, but don't don't attack it while it's on the bridge and destroy the bridge. I don't want that. So oh now they're coming. So let's move a little bit back so units on the bridge don't get attacked and that the bridge doesn't get destroyed. So well that's not really moving back, but whatever. So so here we go. Now destroy that artillery piece and now these guys here. Now they're already retreating. You can need some repairs. So. Oop, more choppers. So yeah, those are definitely off-map choppers. St still losing Tesla calls. So that's how that's how pesky they are. So here we go. The problem is if I don't defend these Tesla calls properly and just let them die because now I have got all these tanks and there's no real need to defend my base as I needed to defend it beforehand, um, then they're going to attack something else. So these choppers need to die and, and when I can concentrate them here, I might as well do it. So here we go. Maybe build one more SAM site. It's, it's a bit ridiculous, the concentration of 
firepower on that specific spot, but yeah. Might as well give it a shot, so. So, here we go. Let's get some engineers for later, maybe. What, what are you doing? So... Was that their only harvester? That seems unlikely. Yeah, but maybe they get so many, so many like, off-map reinforcements on... Well, no mine on that bridge. I didn't expect that. So many off-map reinforcements. I have to watch out that these guys don't accidentally... Oh! There's half a harvester, so... Yeah, I can't target boats. That's a problem. So here we go. So everybody, no, no, no. That's not what I want. I want, I want them to cross this bridge here. So, see what's over here. Well, it's a little bit lazy to explore like this, but who cares? Oh, gap generator, obviously. So, yeah, this. Oh yeah, there are mines. I don't really care. I don't, don't have the time to like look for all the mines now. So, there's still quite a bit of ore here, so it's not like I need to preserve my my force like that, so... So here we go, let's destroy this pesky gap, gap generator. So... Let's destroy the artillery and the arms factory. And... Yeah, all, all their stuff pretty much, so... All this pesky pesky rocket guys, which are still not as bad as the Command Conquer 1 rocket guys, so... So here we go. Yeah, those those helipads need to die. So look at that firepower. Okay, so let's take on some power plants. And where are do they have helipads down here? I guess yes, they do. Wow, they they deliberately positioned their helipads in these trollish positions. Yeah, that's you did that on purpose. There's a mobile gap generator here. I can see it. So and the, oh, there's also there's also units underneath it. So yeah, the AI is okay at grouping units. They aren't actually all bad, all that bad at that. So of course, it's still rudimentary. It's all scripted in the sense that the AI on this map just builds groups like that. But yeah, it's it's not bad. Could be a lot worse. I've actually seen worse AI in way more modern games. So base just stupid helipad. The choppers aren't even that dangerous on their own, it's just they're so annoying. So here's second radar dome. Might as well blow it up now. Oop, camo bunker. Power plant. So... Nope, I don't really need a mine layer. Yeah, as Soviets you can only build anti pass Ooh, wow, they're still sending stuff. The only you can only wow they're, they're coming with stuff from this direction okay you can only build anti-personnel mines so those aren't actually all that great uh, they are only good against infantry infantry isn't really used all that much and it's hard to it's not really worth the micromanagement hassle of getting all all the mines in position and then having infantry run over them and whoa, whoa there's more camo bunkers here or oh, camo pillbox or whatever so let's blow that up so let's take over this construction yard so silos needed so Let's actually get a power plant here just in case. Construction complete. Yeah, there's there's a mine here because I couldn't build there. Let's get a tech center. On hold. And I mean an ally tech center. So spy plane. Spy. So oh, there's more. Might as well blow up all this stuff here. Let's get um can I get an, oh yeah, I can get an Allied Barracks. So you guys stay here. Allied Barracks. Primary building. I don't, yeah, I can, I can actually build gap generators, sweet. So I cannot build longbows, unfortunately, because I already have 
choppers and tech tree. It's 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 bad at recognizing technology already have from the other side, even if it, if even though it's actually a different technology. So here we go. Destroy all the, these guys here. Yeah, it is it is pretty annoying. So because you ta can't target those ships properly. So let's just get some airfields here and you can destroy this barracks. And let's get some mix. Don't really need this airfield here anymore. You can destroy this naval yard here. And more mix. Yep, my harvesters are still harvesting. Occasionally when you're too far away from an ore field, they will stop harvesting because I don't detect ore fields nearby, but that shouldn't really happen here. Whoop, I didn't even mean to do that. Never mind. Let's kill this guy. So, here's the Chrono Sphere. And the reason why I killed that guy was that when you unveil the chronosphere, that guy will actually start destroying it. So be careful here. Look, they still have power. And I'm not really sure whether... Why am I building engineers? So I'm not really sure whether I'm... Whoa. That just, uh, just blew up a, tr a plane. So anyway, what I wanted to say is I'm not really sure whether the bugs still affect this mission or not. In any case, let's destroy this power plant so they get low on power. Let's destroy this one here too. Do not enter this area before you destroy... Oh, no, no, no. Before you... Before you destroy all those radar domes, because if you do, then the crown sphere will automatically self-destruct. So, please destroy this. So, spy plane. Destroy the stupid chopper, please. Yeah, there's another radar dome. So, will this work? Probably not. Yeah, and here should just be some troops or so. Or maybe a small base. Wow, I actually hit stuff. Of course, still not enough to actually destroy this radar dome. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. So there's still one radar dome left. So they actually have four. One of them is like the one in the actual base, and the other three are like the story radar domes, if you want to call them that. So that all of their radar domes. Let's just check. I'm really getting nervous here. Take the radar domes, cut the link between them and the chronosphere, then capture it. Okay. So problem is probably if I, if I destroy this wall. Then might actually blow up the chronosphere. That's that's a bug. So hey, where are you going? So let's just get near it and let's see whether it actually blows up or not. It does not. If you have the iron curtain in this mission, which is possible if you cheat, then you can actually make the chronosphere invincible and prevent it from des destroying itself. And I'm not really sure whether that actually allows you to win the mission that way. It's it's a bit weird. Anyway. Let's just get our engineers in place. So, and capture it. Okay, so that bug is apparently fixed, or at least uh, I didn't encounter it in this version. So that's good to know, because that's a lot easier, because if you have to win the mission by destroying all the blue allied units, that's really annoying, because there are a lot of them, and you probably spend something like half an hour just chasing down individual individual um, soldiers and stuff like that. Oh, and we're not on the last spot this time, so yeah. Thanks for watching and next time I shall see you in Spain. Take care and goodbye.